So today we would like to ask you about your opinion of the chupacabra. Jose, chupacabra, real or fake? Real. Why have you actually ever seen one? Not really once. I thought I did, but I ran shitless. You ran shitless? That scared? Just too scared. Too scared. Why, why is it called the goat sucker? I really don't know. Jaime? Jaime's trying to hide over there. Why is the chupacabra question. called the goat sucker? Well, I think it's a urban legend. So, so you, you don't believe in the fake. chupacabra? Oh, uh, Jose, what do you think of that? Somebody that has never seen one, obviously. <laughs> no one in your family has ever seen one. But you've seen pictures of them. Looks like a dog. Artist renderings? And video of some so-called video. Video. Hmm. And there's a uh, show on TV called The Men Impacto, where they saw kind of like a TMZ. Remember Hard Copy? Mm -hmm. There used to be a show like that. They used to show video. This is the, the Mexican it's always very blurry. It's video kind of like the Sasquatch. So, in conclusion, Jose, I think Jaime's calling you a liar. That's our Goose Field Sessions conclusion. What are you going to do about that, Jose? There's once this old man back in the day who told me the story about the Chupacabra. And I doubted him too. Until I actually thought I came face to face with one. So this was, was this here in the United States? No. Down in Mexico? No, down in Mexico in a country in the woods where they get to feed off prey. There's not a lot of uh, urban area, so it's wilderness and stuff where they can hide, stuff like that. But I wouldn't go as far as to say it's not real. Okay, Jaime, when we actually go search for the Chupacabra, you're going to go with us as our skeptic. I doubt we'll find anything. Okay, well, you have guns, right? Uh, I can't get guns. <laughs> Get no. anything. <laughs> so, Jose, one, one follow-up question. I'll go ahead and put it. You believe that the Chupacabra urban legend has been made up to scare children into... When I, was, when I grew up, there was uh, such a thing as a uh, Kukui. This was what I was going to follow up with. Kukui is a monster that was made up by people for kids not to go near the, near the pond. Because it's it a water-dwelling monster? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they were scared that the kids would walk too close and fall over. So they used to scare the kids so that way they believe that there's something down there so they don't get close enough to fall down into a well, into stuff like that. Interesting. And the Kukui is actually real too. Both believers. It Both is. say it's real. It is real. Any last words, Dana, from our Hispanic experts? Well, I want to I want to thank you guys for enlightening us with your knowledge of, of Mexican urban legends and, and creatures. We may we might find some other topics to ask you about down the road. And if we need your protection, can we count on you? No, mine's I'm gonna run. <laughs> 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 Cemeteries are full of brave. <laughs>
I'm not sure if I'm not sure if they do that in Mexico, um, but it, it is in Texas, so it is in the U.S. And I know that they have um, barricaded like areas where they found like um, dead animals on the farms and stuff. So I don't know what if Mexico does anything because mm -hmm. I think they're just they know that it exists. So I don't maybe know. they maybe they allow it to hunt their their flocks kind of as a peace offering. Maybe maybe not to. To upset it. So follow up question? Uh, creature number two we wanted to ask you about was the fabled Kukui. It's a scary ghost. A Kukui. It's a ghost. It's not a monster. It's well the way that I was raised it's not a monster it's more like um, a spooky thing that will come out at night and like grab you or <laughs> they used to scare they used to tell us this when we were little and if we didn't listen to our parents or the babysitter or anyone they would say the kukui is gonna come in <laughs> and get you or i mean not to be mean to us or anything it's just to like basically get us to go to sleep and it would come out of the closet they would say i mean we were babysat by um this puerto rican family so all of our you know, background is different because in Guatemala we do have that, but it doesn't come out of the closet. And <laughs> our babysitters would say it comes out of the closet just to like spook us, basically. So, but you're not, you don't sound very afraid of it like you are with the chupacabra. No, I'm more scared of the chupacabra. Conclusions, expert Dana? Well, we've heard both sides. Um, you know, we have some believers, we have some non believers. So, we, we had some good questions and some good feedback today. Thanks very much. Thank you.